again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. Shut up, Lester. We're going to the planning computer here. I haven't done one of these in a while. I actually only vaguely, vaguely remember how to do one of these heists. But we could do this heist and keep the car, as you can see from the little garage symbol. Considering the car is worth 1.7, that is hey, more than worth that's it. that's a sweet-ass car. And you know who else thinks so? Tony McTony. Because that's who we're going to steal it from. He's got it on the same submarine we robbed before. I say we keep things simple and use the same plan. And listen, this isn't just any car. This is one of his all-time favorites. You remember when that gossip show fizz caught him getting jacked off in the back seat of that parking lot at Bahama Mamas? That was his car! We'll wipe it down, don't worry. Yusuf's gonna think it's so cool. Well, I'm gonna think it's so cool. Look like we don't have to scope out the submarine, so that's good. That's a benefit. Interesting thing, everyone's been saying you can get this car for 10k if you have the uh, the document forgery office, which I do. But interesting factor that you still have to pay the 20k up front to do the heist. So really, we're getting this car for 30k. And end result, which considering it's a 1.7 million dollar car is fine. So, what do we want to do first? Security outfits. Do we already? Optional cutting tour. Oh, those are you have to do those. Out. See, it's been so long. Disrupt weapons. Let's disrupt the weapons. Call up the... I say we make this whole crazy op as easy as possible for us. And as annoying as possible for this rich doucher. Let's destroy any heavy weapons they got moving so they can't use it on us while we're robbing the shit out of them. Let's start with the lockup I just sent you and we'll see what happens from there. Okay, we can start with a, with a regular vehicle. Oh, like somehow we don't have an active vehicle. Okay, anyway, let's. We're not on a timer on this, are we? Not yet, I don't think. I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? Yeah, give me some. I'll bring it by. Now, when you say just get me some, and you grab the first thing, sometimes you get. Something like this. Okay, this is fine. 6.74 miles! And there is time remaining. Oh, goodness. There's a clock. Oh, I've been killing too much time here. Um, service vehicles. We need a helicopter. Sparrow May. How much time did I kill there? Alright, we have to be extra judicious. Six miles. I thought it was around the block. I've only done the McTony... What, a couple times, maybe? Yeah, because I just sold off the two cars in the previous video. Okay. I say previous video. This might just go into the... Uh, into the general flow of video. So there might be months between the video where I sold off my last McTony and getting this McTony, even though... I don't know. It's topical. Me, we'll push it. Yeah, you'll see what you'll see what you get. I don't remember this Mitch. I thought this was another fly around and shoot vehicles kind of things, disrupt the deliveries kind of stuff. It's probably an element of that. But I thought I'd save the sparrow. It's like you could drive around the block, shoot a bunch of people, and then fly around and blow stuff up. But you don't have to drive almost seven miles in a custom faction donk. That will take some time. It almost has to be on the other side of the mountain, don't you think? For a 6.7 mile, that's a long trek in this on this island, yeah. I think we got some unlucky RNG on this. Oh, maybe that's where it always is. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still a little shocked that they, uh, and this has just come out today in the patch notes, that they've forced the Cluck and Bell 
to be normal. Then there was something that, that it was that had happened a while ago, but then it was reverted, and now it looks like it's back. I don't know what's going on. We'll have to see. Luckily, I was kind of done doing the Clucka Bell things anyway. We're not doing this subtle and slow. Exactly. That's what I was saying. Uh, oh, I'm going to get you out of here. Get you right to Jesus or a respawn point. One of the two. However it works in-game. Okay, I think we've cleared the entrance. We have six minutes left. I'm not feeling confident here. This could be a difficult McTony. Okay, Lappy, Lappy, Lappy. I don't see a Lappy. What if they don't have a Lappy? What if I blew up the Lappy? Guys, where the heck's the Lappy? We have, we're limited on time here. Oh, over in the corner, okay. Sparrow, we're going to be counting on your speed. Hopefully nobody's trying to kill us. Okay, that one's lit up red, so we're just going to get brighter, so we're going to go with that one. Hopefully it's close. It looks relatively close. Come on, lock me up. Missiles ahoy. Okay, now we have to make decisions. What's the best flow? This one. Two of four. So we only have two to get. We've got four minutes. We've got two minutes to get each one of these. Sparrow May. Let's do this. Keep your eye on the sparrow. Someone's chasing me, but they're chasing the sparrow, so good luck. Don't do the deed if you don't have the speed. Don't do it. Oh, no. Come on, lock it up. Missiles ahoy. Turn and burn, all right. Three minutes. And another chopper on us. All right. Hoo hoo! Congratulation phone call. I love the congratulation phone call. It makes me feel happy. Man, I'll be honest with you. I am way less nervous about this whole thing with those weapons out of the way. Good work. Very good. Let's warp back. Warp. Let's warp it back. Do, 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 do. Now, should we look for and see if there are any of the other tasks out on the map? Or should we just go right for another main setup? We're here. Let's do another main setup.
The submersible. So I found the dock where McTony keeps his submersible. That's exactly what we need to be on if we want to go through the sub's moon pool without anybody thinking we're up to something. You pull up in that? And a security outfit? I guarantee they invite you to stay for drinks with the crew. Yeah, we have to get the uh, security outfit as well. But we're going to, first of all, Sparrow me! Sparrow me, that's kind of a... Making sparrow a verb, which it really isn't. But to give me a sparrow is to sparrow me. That's that's where I'm going with that. In case it wasn't obvious. To gain some altitude, because again, my monitor's still a little bit faded here, and it's a uh, easy to fly into a a power uh, tower or something like that, or a bridge. I'm imagining we're going to kill everybody here. It's not going to be a stealth op. Can we? Can we just sneak up to it? Now this is when we have to drop it off the thing and... I'm doing it dirty anyway. We're just going to... Even if there's a stealth way of doing this, they're going to get the artillery way of doing this. I have unlimited missiles. Tony shall feel my wrath. Tony McTony McTona Tony McTona. I bet you we work for McTony someday in a future update. They should totally do that. Oh, this guy's like ducked down or something. Okay, well we I think he took everybody out. Access the release switch. Climb, 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 climb. Oh, there's the release switch. Good junk. I now jump. I now jump off the. That's really good safety railing. You gotta be kidding me. I if you had told me I could have landed on the submersible. <laughs> what luck. What amazing luck. I thought I'd hit the water. And there we go. Give me a location, Once you get the submersible, I'll send over your mechanic's current location. That thing is too hot to have back in the scrapyard, so he's gonna hold it for us until it's time to rock. Which way are we going? Which is the quickest way? I'm going the long way around. We have to turn around. Is that this way? And let us... We're going to return to the uh, the moon, our own moon pool, just so. If we have it available to us in a few minutes. Tony McTony, Tony, Tony, McTony, McTony, Tony, McTony. Okay, now we're just gonna. If I remember to to do this in editing, maybe I'll speed this up because this is not the most exciting part of the whole thing. There 
There we go. There's those two little green package thingies. Sparrow May. One's close. Solid performance out there, bro. I got a guy who's gonna hold on to the submersible until the big day. I'm trying to knock these setups right out of the park. That was a good landing. Security outfits. We will need guns. We're gonna need to get you disguised so you blend in on that sub. I had a great idea for one. The newest member of McTony's submarine security team. Turns out, they like diving at this one spot. Think you could steal a uniform? Only if I kill them. Uh, can, can we do this stealth? Nothing in there. I'm just walking around. I haven't even done anything yet. I dropped a whip. I didn't have one until you started shooting. I don't even know if that's a bad guy. You actually probably need more bullets than... than shotgun joke. Hey, everybody. Let us take cover. Activate snacks. Put the snack back up. Tony McTony McTony Tony McTony McTony Tony McTony McTony Tony McTony McTony. So where are these outfits? I've done this, I should know. Are they coming from this side? Honk your horn. Honk your the horn. Where is this guy? Okay, so now we're still now vigorously searching. For the stupid outfits. There is a box. Oh, is that them? I don't understand why they attacked me before I'd ever I'd even done anything. I'm just walking around the pier. They definitely didn't see me take their stuff because they attacked me before I took their stuff. That was just dang silly. I landed that under there. Wow, that was... It's like I was delivering it from the... from the moon pool and the delivery guy putting it under something that you can't take off with. That was great. Tony, McTony, McTony, Tony, McTony, McTony.
One of two. Okay, let us. What's up? See you around. Snack it up. What's up? What's down? Take it easy. Snack attacked. Is there a drink here or something or a health thing? Uh, we could get ourselves a glass of junk. I don't care about that dollar. Yum. Okay, we're ready to do some melt. You all good? Aye. Helicopter's outside. Let's do the other task. I mean, it's probably more efficient to do the other one than when you're left outside. Get, bam, we're, let's get the tasks done first. Need the map. Map me. Come on, where's that other little green thing of a bobber? All the way out here, okay. Definitely a job for the sparrow. And there you go. See, we're still we're still cranking out money. There's so many ways to make money in this game, so I'm not too worried about the 30000 I'm going to have to pay to get this car. We'll still end up on top of things. Acid Labs producing. Bunkers producing. So we've knocked out their weapons, we've got the security outfit, we've got the submarine. Pretty soon we'll be doing Donny McDonny McDonny Donny McDerobbery. Yeah, how about McDonald's? Like, lots of McDonald's are down, their whole uh, network is down there. I didn't know every McDonald's was networked together. It must have to do with all those kiosks that they have for you to order. Alright, well, we're flying out here. I'm going to tell you the kiosky story. So, I was out on, uh, on a business trip, and we stop into this, this Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm looking over, I look at what donuts they have, and it was, it was kind, of a, kind of a mediocre one. I mean, it was just a little place, not like a full-up, you know, it was, it was like in a building at the site, you know, that kind of thing. And they had donuts there, but they had the, the kiosks where you have to punch the numbers in. And... I go up, I order, I forget, like an apple donut and a, I remember I ordered, was that the time I ordered, no, I think we, we did it verbally the next time when I had the, got the wrong coffee, but I mean, the, the, uh, I ordered some kind of slushy thing, I, I, I'm decaf all the way on, on, on this kind of stuff, usually, and, uh, okay, we can do that in a second, I'll finish telling the story, so the, I order on the kiosk, and apparently at the top of the kiosk, kind of out of sight, and I'm I'm about 5'11", so I mean, I'm not short, uh, where I wouldn't see it it's like if it was in a normal place. There's a sign that says, if you're going to order a donut, don't use the kiosk. All right. And so I, I order it, and I walk up, and the girl behind the counter, cute little thing, honestly, cute, you know, kind of a loose shirt. No bra. Just, there's was, there was chances of like obscenities happening. She was very kind of very casually dressed, but a very attractive little thing. I'm giving her all this credit because I'm about to take her down. The uh, she starts just you know, how could you miss an eye level sign that says you know do not order from the kioski if you're getting a, a donut. I'm like the what? The kioski. Don't order from the kioski if you're doing. I'm like what the heck is a kioski? You mean the kiosk? You mean the, the thing you point to buy? Oh, I'm like, well, luckily we have that donut because we don't have all the donuts. I looked at the donuts before I ordered. I was like, I do have some. But I didn't see the little sign. It was like on a 3 by 5 car, but she went off. I was afraid for me. I had to watch closely. You know, nothing happened to my drink. It was like, ah. That might have been the time I ordered. I wanted to get a, a vanilla colada, and I said vanilla coffee colada. They gave me vanilla ch uh, coffee. 
And boy, I was humming because, you know, I don't generally drink the caffeine. Silly arrhythmia issues. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a thing. But yeah, I was humming. I was like, wow, I understand why people like this stuff. Let's, uh, yeah. Don't order from the kiosk. Ah, the cutting torch one. All right. Not now, Martin. I'm busy. So, there's a solid chance the whole sub's gonna lock down once they suspect something. So we're gonna need a cutting torch to get through the sealed doors. There's gotta be an extra one laying around the junkyard. Still don't know how traceable a cutting torch would be. I mean, I'll just keep it in my bedroom. Great if they come and search the bedroom from a cutting torch, it would make not a lot of sense. Anyone that wants me to kill here? Maybe we can just go in and grab it. Maybe we don't have to murder absolutely everybody. That would be great. Okay, so they're running away. Cutting torch. Cutting torches is the source of my favorite survival. Because you got nice, lots of nice cover. Cutting torch. I steal it. Okay, can we just get away? Heliocopter style. I'm sure he meant that as a prayer. Alright, we did that! Completely violence free! Excellent! Now helicopters will chase me because I have a cutting torch. No, it's... At some point I really need to get a cutting torch. There'd be times that'd be really useful. Rolling through these setups. Rolling through them, I say. So we deliver this. Do we need masks? I don't know that we need masks. The masks always seem kind of pointless to me. You kill everybody anyway, so what's the point? If you ever read the book, uh, So I Heard You Paint Houses... The Deathbed Confessions of Frank Sheeran. I forget the name of the author. I mean, one of the things he says is when someone gets shot, when someone gets knocked off by the the mob, as it were, they always say, oh, there was a masked man. And he, he said, there's never a mask. People just know. Oh, the guy had a mask on. I don't know what to tell you. So hard. Didn't get a good look. Deliver the cutting torch, deliver the cutting torch. We got to deliver the cutting torch. All right. Let's go do the final setup. It should be one more setup, I think. You need something? I'll see you on the flip side. You're, you're flipped. Sonar equipment. We'll get the sonar equipment. We'll go buy some masks. Why well, you can just buy masks? I don't know. Listen, we're gonna need some serious sonar to track down that sub. They're really out there in the middle of the ocean. I'm talking deep, deep end of the pool, armed with the radar jammers. You think you could steal sonar some equipment jams. from that warehouse I just sent you? It's stuff that should get us around all of that once it's installed on the submersible. That's one of the things about this this mission that does bug me. They they interchangeably use radar and sonar. Those are two very different things. One uses acoustic waves, one uses electromagnetic waves, radio frequency. Microwaves. That's why the first microwaves were called radar ranges. That's how microwaves were invented, you know. They were guy was working on radar. And 
He walked past an emitter and while well, they were working on stuff and it melted his chocolate bar. It might have been a Snickers, I'm not real sure. And he said, that's interesting, we could use this to cook food. Not thinking to himself, oh my goodness, I've just been irradiated. I mean, you know, that would be my response, you know, but I'm, I tend to be a bit, a bit careful. So, I mean, you know, it's. Loser, I just slaughtered all of your friends. And you're next. Did that guy fall off the roof yet? Or? There was a guy on the roof. I don't see him on the roof anymore. Okay, this is hurting. Let us just do this. Let's return it in the hopes that we'll be able to pull it when we get back. Shotgun going in. I got a shotgun and you don't have one. These guys might have one. Am I still yours? Like, is this Valentine's Day? I really do need to snack it up here, don't I? Same guys all the time. This is it! Is that it? Is this really it? I didn't know this was it. You should have told me. I think that was adequate. Hopefully the crate we're having to break open is not on fire. Okay, it's it's a little on fire, but everybody's dead. So I mean, you know. Not the one. Oh, a, a late arrival. Where is that? Oh, he's from right there. Okay, I did not see him. I need to snack it up, or I'm gonna die. Oh, I caught myself on fire. Darn it. At least I didn't give them the, the satisfaction of having killed me. I killed myself, right? And I'm, and I'm still alive, so... That was done without style, but, you know, at least it was funny. I mean, I think that's... Take cover to snack it up, and then... Well, now I've got all my health back. And you're like one guy. Where are you? Two guys. And now I'm annoyed. I like just random thing of shotgun shells? What the hell? Now where were we? First of all, we'll snack it up just in case there's more people. Snack it up. One night the snacks. Snacking, snacking, snacking. Oh yeah. M&M's, they'll take care of you. You blew a lot of things up. Fwee, 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 fwee. That looks like it. Fwee, 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 fwee. We're probably going to be in trouble here. If they, they're coming, so we have to... Sparrow me now. Well, it's not in a good position. Lots of innocents are going to die here. Including me. I have to get some health back. I got hit with something hard from the helicopter. So we have to switch out weapons. And then you appear as soon as I switch out weapons. I'm snacking it up. Is he coming? He's moving. Okay. Q. Health and ammo. I got lots of health now. Can I switch back to my... Not the hammer, no. 
Why does it take away your minigun if you use it once? That's another rock star. Where's the Helio chopper? There you are. It is. You gave yourself away by shooting at me. This is burning. They destroyed the they destroyed my my Telio chapter. Okay, now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. We need to Request personal vehicle. Did it come? Did it go through? Yeah, there it is. Because I think I'm selling the timer for the. Come on, donk! Let's get out of here. The truck smashing my uh, my helicopter foiled that plan. Traffic gets me again. That's why I'm never I never feel bad anymore. I used to feel bad when I hit someone in the traffic or run over a pedestrian or do something like that. I'm like, oh, none of them are innocent in this game. They're all out to get you. The traffic is part of the calculation for all these missions. Donny. I feel like I haven't said that in a while. This thing handles pretty good, actually, to be perfectly honest. I think it handles better than a, a regular uh, faction or a faction custom. I think the big suspension makes up for whatever weird handling flag. It doesn't have advanced handling flags. It's unadvanced handling flags. Or just would bounce all over the place. But this is pretty, pretty smooth. Not bad. Tony McDonny McDonny Tony McDonny McDonny Tony McDonny Tony 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 Totino. You need something? I don't think we need masks. I don't think ma I think it's a waste of time. Did it not take them? Take the money? Am I locked up here? What the heck? Something's weird. I didn't want to sit down. I want to grab some snacks. Come on. Take it easy. Snacks. We need the snacks. We need some health. Are you drinking? What happened? I froze. He popped it and just went into a trance. Um, guys, I can't move. Buy a soda. Just stared for a minute. Drink the drink. Yum, toss, health. All cool? Mm -hmm. 
start the robbery. Go to Polito Cove. So, we're robbing a priceless car from a submarine. We're breaking into a submarine to steal a totally unique car. Hey, where did you steal that incredible car? Thank you for asking. From a submarine. Yeah, there's just no way to see this that doesn't sound insane. It is insane. Thank you. Oh, the sparrow. Where would I be without the sparrow? Why would I want to blow up my own truck? Let's go. Wonder if there'll be enough chatter to keep us interested. Or should I just fast forward? I don't know. Enough phone calls. Can you believe we're doing a submarine? Wow. Not before. Coming for Tony McTony McTony Tony McTony McTony. Okay, let's do the quick reset on the uh, the helicopter. Tony McDony McDony. be easier at first? Ooh, maybe not. Not very deep here. That sonar is just decorative. Why am I not changing views? Viewpoint change. I cannot change viewpoint on this. I'm hitting the button. If I do the whole thing in first person, it can't be done. But oh, is my keyboard broken? What the heck? If I surface, can I? Yeah, there we go. That was a weird glitch. I got hit by the I hit the kelp there. By the way, sonar doesn't work very well if you're above water either. You know, it's, you need something in the water. You either drag behind you if you're on the surface or something like that.
This is taking a while. I think it is good that there you go. That they, you know, not only do I have a submarine, lots of people have submarines. It's a thing. Can I enter? Right, something should give me like an enter here kind of thing. Well, if you don't have a Kasaka, you're not exactly sure where to. Should be right in the middle here somewhere. Go to the engine room. Did you make it? No. Okay, head right for the engine room. We gotta knock out their navy so they can't dive deeper and fuck this whole thing up. Use that cutting torch if you have to. I'm thinking I should probably kill these two guys. So much for stealth. Recall they go out, they go hostile on you pretty quick anyway. What, well, I, I, why did I put my gun? Oh, because of the what took off. Fine. That was a little bit excessive, but. A gun. He survived a railgun shot to the face. I have impressed. Disable the sonar systems, the surfacing systems. Shouldn't we, don't we have to surface at some point? I know we just run it aground, but is there's one down here? Yeah. By the way, this this will probably not work very well. I don't have a weapon. I need a weapon. Thanks for reminding me. That's where we were. Those aren't nice words. <coughs> I just had some M&Ms. I'm feeling rather spicy. Drop the fucking weapon. You can't even see me. You're warming it up like it's made of chocolate. And the door is not hot at all now. You can use that with your bare hands. <laughs> You're not the head of security. You don't have a head. Oh, shit. At least not much Come of one. Someone's above me. Oh, wait, whoa, here we go. Reload! And the security! Shoot that guy. You're just like... Control codes. You fucking loser. Once you get the codes, head right for the helm. There's a console there that you need to punch the code into so we can drive this shit. You fucking idiot. 
get to the bridge. What the fuck am I doing? I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Hijo de puta. Now, there was more guys there than were on the radar. I don't wanna be here. Kill everything before uh don't have to snack it up again. Let's retreat a little bit. Yo, know, I think the problem we're having here is we didn't use sprunk. We need that sprunk to make it work. Full of sprunk guys, that wouldn't screw with me. Drop it. Let's go. Take cover. You fucking loser. You piece of shit. Hey, cover. Drop your weapon. This looks familiar. You surprised me. I surprised you more. You fucking penis. My partner's down. Okay, take cover. Who's shooting at me? It's more sprunk. I need more sprunk. Okay, did we get everybody? No. Who the heck is shooting? Oh, there you are. Must have just j dropped down. Okay, and take the control codes. Blood everywhere. Someone's sneaking on me. Show yourself. Is he coming down through here? Where are you? I saw you on the ha. Uh -oh. Sneaking around on me. I'm I am the captain now. Right. I thought we couldn't the surface. Can't steer. Just gotta go to the one place. This is cool. Tony McTony McTony Tony Baloney. Now we gotta get to the moon pool. Tony McTony McTony Tony McTony McTony. All right, here we go. Where is the switch to activate the landing pad? There's the thing. Shotgun at the ready. Just guessed. Face in the blood. Enter the Comet S2 is Comet S2. GTA men, it's Comet. Look at how the wheels are all a little bit messed up there. That's weird. Tony McTony McTony Tony McTony! Now we gotta get to the G Fred lines. Can we make it up this hill? I don't think we can make it up this hill, but we're gonna try! 
Well, that was really close. Hey, we did it! We need some G Fred lines. We're almost there. Overshot a little bit. Train! No, 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 no! Ooh, that was kind of stylish. Kind of scary. Kind of bent it up a good bit, but that's okay. Tony McTony McTony, Tony McTony McTony, gotta run away from the helicopter. Tony McTony McTony, Tony McTony McTony, gotta run away from the helicopter. But now we're here, now we're on to the G Fred line back. We're fine. No helicopter gonna find us in here, I tell you that much. We've already met the train. If I go outside right now, they might pick us up and we'll have to just sit in another... But that's an actual police car outside. <laughs> or, hell, or ambulance. Comet S2 Cabrio. That's sure true, we can do this. Can we, can we take, make it, uh... There we go. Yeah, there he is. I hit the run, I hit the button twice by accident, but there. Let's drop the top for the ride home. I could use some air. Might be better to follow the rails all the way down there, but let's see. Is that, is that a the train? Another train. Wow, I didn't expect that. Um, no, this is gonna curve off and then go around. So we're gonna break off where we normally do. G Fred lines. Famous. And it's a Las Venturas plate. Okay. But again, I can't cash it in just yet. I can't can't convert it just yet, or I'll lose the plate. I'll have to do this all again on the other character just to get the plate, and I won't get the plate. You won't be able to put the last Ventura's plates on everything. Why you can't, I don't know. And dismount. Sadly, my, my trouble with connecting to the Euro servers continues, so I don't see myself doing a GFRED, a proper GFRED, for a very long time. But at least I know the lines. And they're useful in so many things. Unless I start organizing, like, you know, stateside GFREDs. God only knows how annoyed that would make Bruffy. He might be thrilled with it that, the, that everything's growing, or it might be like, hey... I mean, lots of people solo this. There's lots of people doing GFreds, but you know. But the real problem would be is if you if you start like a pub GFred up, it's got to be a GTA uh, style race. Everyone just kill each other, and you just say, "Oh no, don't kill each other. Be considerate." No, they're gonna kill each other. You have to have people you know, and there has to be some kind of something waiting, you know, running on the thing other than just a win and probably you know whatever the max K is for eight minutes. Because it'll take longer than that. But now we just have a drive. I mean, we, we, we have done it. And as I watch video lag hit, and then it's like, well, we have done it unless the game crashes. Let's not hope the game does not crash. And now, one more time, we'll do it. Tony McDonny, McDonny, Tony McDonny, McDonny. All right, that's enough of that. It's 
So you ain't got a mask anyway. A rebreather. I think we shot everybody we saw, so we're good. Bonus reward, 10,000. Oh, no lives lost. All challenges complete. Over 15 headshots. Find the head of security in one minute. We get So that 10,000 comes off the cost price of the car. So now we're back down like 20K once we, we, we sell it. Look at that. It's actually kind of a nice build. Muscle wheels. Lots of carbon. Carbon on white. I don't think I'm going to change it very much. Take that, Tony McTony, you fucking bozo. <laughs> and like I said, I'm going to wait to see someone say that the glitch with the plates is gone before I do anything with this. And this is basically for all intents and purposes. Now I've got another parking space. So life is good. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.